It was right towards the end of the night and one of our technicians was going out to her car and she saw a cage. When she got closer, she could see it was a small dog. The poor thing was terrified. We got her into the hospital and rolled her into one of the kennels in the back. My husband and I, as the owners of the practice, got a call at 9 o'clock saying that this had happened. And when I came in today, one of the first things I did was go back to the run to look at her. She was just curled up and as far to the back of that her little crate as she could. She never even moved, I don't think, hardly at all. I knew that we needed to get her out of this small crate. Maybe this would be an opportunity where we could use a high reward treat or food. So I used a little bit of canned food and started to kind of reach in and she was very, very uneasy at first. She would take it and then dart back to the cage and then we did that for what felt like an eternity, but slowly she would get a little bit closer and a little bit closer. She still would not let me touch her at all. In fact, she gave a couple warning bites when I attempted to. The next thing I needed to do for both of our safety was get a leash on her. Through the food, I was able to get a slip leash slowly over her neck and able to get that secured. Once I had her on the leash, we could exit the run and I could do a little bit more touching of her body and she was still extremely wary of it. We were building rapport really quickly. Now that she was at least letting me touch her body, I wanted to get on board some of those pre-visit pharmaceuticals to help her deal with this tremendous amount of anxiety. I let her have about an hour and a half with those medications on board and I brought her back out and within just a few seconds she was letting me touch her all over. She was laying down, I was able to rub her belly, she was completely comfortable with me and then began to uh, get more and more comfortable with each new person and each experience she had was positive the day's not even over and we were able to draw blood on her, do a full exam with an ophthalmoscope and an otoscope and she couldn't be more relaxed. I would not have been able to do that without the knowledge that I've acquired through my Fear Free training and experience and understanding when to push a little bit when to back off a little bit, how to stay safe during that whole process. Without being Fear Free certified, I think my first instinct would have been to get a leash on that dog as soon as possible and pull her out of that carrier instead of being patient and letting it be on her timeline. I remember you from last night. <laughs> I was thinking about her a lot last night after I got home. Seeing her out made, it was such a sense of relief. My feeling was that if animal control had come to get her and she acted like that with animal control, she probably would have been destroyed. And I was really proud of Dr. Rack that she went back there and she gave this dog a chance. It's been really rewarding to see how fast we can take a patient with such high levels of FAS and literally put her down to a zero. She was literally above a five and now she's a zero.